Facebook can actually do something called dynamic broad meshing. What they're going to do with that is super, super ninja and really important because they're going to use data from your pixel, from your website to help you find people that are more likely to buy your products because they have similar relationships, activities, interests, likes, uh, overall behavior. Again, it's a document. It's a CSV file that you're going to download. There's a templates that Facebook gives you. We can discuss that later on, but there's templates that they give you. All you gotta do is fill it in. Now, if this is a little bit over your head and you feel it's a little too complicated, guys, we have so much help out there today. You can literally go to fiverr.com and find somebody that's gonna help you get your catalog feed. Grab your 28 products or your 14 products and put them into a CSV file and create the catalog feed for you. But for example, if you have a Shopify channel, it is so freaking simple because you don't even have to download a document. And on this example, I'm going to connect an actual brand that we have with a catalog feed using Shopify so you guys can see how easy it is to integrate. And by tomorrow, I can be running dynamic ads that are gonna be selling like crazy. Really ninja stuff. There's a reason why they call me the Facebook marketing ninja, right? I really know about this stuff, guys, and it's really exciting, and most people don't. You guys that are here listening to this video are in the great minority of people that are actually understanding how these powerful platforms really operate. So let's go into it. All right, so now we are in the business manager. And as you can see, we're here on the left-hand column. This is going to be found on the data sources section here. There's gonna be an option here, which is the first one, which is the catalogs one. Keep in mind that the catalogs only work with pixels. So if you don't have a pixel installed on your website, you will not be able to select or create. You will be able to create a catalog, but it's not gonna have any data on it. It's not gonna serve any good to you. Dynamic ads are a game changer. So now over here, when we select catalogs, we have the option to create a new catalog. Let's go ahead and run, do a quick run through of what happens when you create a new catalog because you have a couple of options to set up your dynamic feed, your product feed, and your catalog for your ads on Facebook. Let's say that, that I am an agency and I want to be able to advertise for another company because they're paying me to do advertising for them. I can actually have them create the catalog on their end have the developer create the catalog and I just request access to it. Once I request access to it, all they gotta do is go in here and follow this instruction. So you are gonna give the person this information and then uh, they're going to go into the catalogs and assign a partner. And that's going to give you access into their catalog so you can use it on your ads. Most of you guys are not gonna be going through that. So you're gonna go ahead and create a new catalog if uh, you haven't create one, created one yet on Facebook because what you're trying to do is send the data from your products being sold on your websites, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, Magento, Shopify, etc., into Facebook so Facebook can dynamically retarget people that are visiting your website. And not only that, Facebook can actually do something called dynamic broad meshing. What they're gonna do with that is super, super ninja and really important because they're gonna use data from your pixel, from your website, to help you find people that are more likely to buy your products because they have similar relationships, activities, interests, likes, uh, overall behavior. So that's important because that's a good aspect of being able to sell on Facebook and use it as a great sales channel is to be able to use Facebook's data. And if you use it correctly, then you can scale your ads like crazy. So for example, instead of just retargeting people that are visiting your website, Facebook uses your actual conversions on your website and uses that to do a broad match and help you find people that are more likely to also purchase products from you. Really important stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new catalog right here. Let's gonna call it, let's gonna call it, we're gonna call it test FV Masters. And as you can see right here, uh, it's asking me for a type. What type? Well, the standard is the products because most of us, I would assume most of you guys, are product sellers. We're trying to sell more products on e-commerce overall, on our, on our stores. Overall, that's our goal. We wanna be able to get our products out there a lot. But there's a lot of other companies that are doing a lot of other things that they wanna be able to dynamically retarget people. For example, hotels. 
Kayak uses this a lot. Priceline uses this a lot. Based on the activity on their website, they retarget people for offers, 10%, 20%, talk about vacations and other things. Vehicles, home listings. Guys, ding, ding, ding. If you're a realtor, if you work for an agency that sells real estate, then this is a real, real, very important factor of Facebook advertising because now you can, not only can you actually retarget people based on what they're seeing, on Zillow, let's say that you're the owner of Zillow or if you, have, you have your own website or if you have your own like um, real estate uh, website that promotes certain products and certain listings, you can retarget them based on that activity and show them other homes and other properties and just get them connected with your uh, overall your content, your information and what you have to offer to them. Same thing with like broad matching because when you set this up correctly, now Facebook can use that to, to help you find people that are also in the market for real estate and it's really a bad stuff. Destinations, flights, etc. Those are other things that you can set up dynamic ads for but we're going to keep it simple. We're going to talk about what most of you guys are going to be interested in here which is products. Okay, so over here, when you select products, you're going to create a catalog and it says over here, by creating a catalog, you agree to the catalog manager terms and certify that you abide by Facebook advertising policies. Fine, I abide by them. So here we are. The first thing that you gotta do is you gotta select somebody to work on it with you. So like on your business manager, whoever is actually in the business manager, you can actually invite to work with you on that calendar or help you advertise on it. It's like you have the business manager, but the business manager in itself has a bunch of different assets and they not all apply to everybody. So you can assign the individual assets, individual catalogs and pixels to a particular employee that's gonna help you work on that. So once you add them, for example, if I add Jorge in here, then uh, as soon as I invite him in here, he's going to have access to advertise using this catalog that I just created. Now, this catalog right now, I just created it. It has nothing in it. How do we get stuff in that catalog? How do we get products from my website, from our websites into this catalog so Facebook can help me advertise them on the Facebook platform dynamically? Dynamically, again, what does it mean? It means that you don't have to really do it yourself manually. It's being done based on the activity on the website and it happens incredibly fast and just like that. You go to Amazon, you start looking at wallets and then you close it, you go to Facebook and instantly, boom, you see wallets in there being targeted. That's what dynamic ads are. It blows away customers because they don't understand it. They think that you are Nostradamus. They think that you are predicting where they're going to be and what they like. So it's really cool. The effect that you create on other people, you understand that now that you're doing this lesson, but most people don't get how cool this is and how advanced it is so they actually get really interested on people that are following them around showing them products that they have shown interest in super cool stuff so next up over here is that you're going to assign it a pixel okay that catalog needs to be connected with a pixel if it's not connected with a pixel it has absolutely no purpose because the data is being fed in connection with that pixel so let's go ahead and connect one pixel over here let's say we got dr bergs okay go cool. here we go one of my favorite examples you guys know that okay so now it says dr bergs workshops pixel is now connected to test fb masters great so now what now that we connected it does that mean that i'm ready to roll absolutely not the good news for you is that when i started doing dynamic ads a couple of years ago already i think about two years ago when i started going into this world it was so intricate it was so complicated and you couldn't even get in there to deal with setting up this product catalog i actually what i did was that i hired a developer paid him a lot of money and then he created a product catalog for me no longer the case. Right now it's way simpler for all of us, individual advertisers, individual brands to get this set up correctly. So let's check it out. Once we are in the catalog over here, you can actually list the one that we just created, test Facebook masters. Once I click on it, when I, once I step on it, I can literally go straight to, at the top right over here, I can go straight to the page where there's all kinds of information about this pixel. And let me show you what information you got here. You got not, not about the pixel, but about the catalog. Right now there's no products in there, so it's normal. But we're gonna go to product data sources, okay? Product data sources are basically 
where is that data being fed to Facebook from? Where is it coming from? Are you using a Magento plugin, a Shopify plugin, a WooCommerce, a BigCommerce? Are you using, what are you using to connect this data to Facebook? It's very simple because you have a couple of options. Let's say that you are one of those entrepreneurs that you only have a single product. No problem. You can do this manually. Now, what I recommend to you, if you are serious about building a business and building a brand, is that you take advantage of the integrations with these other platforms that make it so much easier for you to just add a product and forget about it. And if you change the price on Shopify, Facebook is gonna know that you changed the price. And if you uh, change an image, Facebook is gonna know that. If you change the description, Facebook gets that data and it all happens dynamically based on whatever changes that you're using on your website. When you use a plugin to connect with your website to get your catalog set up, it all updates automatically and you don't have to worry about it and you always have a catalog up to date on Facebook that you can target people to. Okay, so now we're here, we're gonna go ahead and add a data source, which again is some product data sources, okay, right here. And in here, we got a couple of options. Add manually, it just speaks for itself. We're gonna go ahead and add my only one. I'm gonna show you how simple it is if you wanna get it set up yourself. And then you have also use data feeds. This is something that you can use in this particular example, if you use this, I would recommend that you get a developer in place. Um, I am not particularly fond of Excel spreadsheets, so I usually like to get help on that, but it's gonna require a product feed. A product feed literally is a document, Excel type or CSV type, which are the formats in which you upload your information about your products, meaning the SKU numbers, the uh, description, the images, details on the price, and all that stuff that Facebook is gonna ask you for, and then you upload it to Facebook, and Facebook is gonna have that data. But if you ever have a change, you need to update it yourself, or you're gonna set up another option that does a, um, you, you do an update automatically every certain time based on the interaction, but that requires you integrating this particular feed into a website that dynamically dynamically updates with your updates. Let's not get it that way right now. Let's not get it complicated at this point. Just telling you so you understand how that works in case that you're one of the ones that are a little bit more advanced on this subject. First thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you a quick example on how to add products manually on Facebook without having to do a product feed, without having to do anything else because this option was not even available before or it was so complicated that you didn't even wanna to touch it. But right now they made it so much simpler. So if we're gonna add products manually, I'm gonna go over here to add products next and then this is where you add the product manually. Let's go ahead and add an image. It's a 600 by 600 pixel image. I'm gonna go ahead and add this image right here, which I did make 600 by 600, okay? There's a lot of tools for you to uh, resize images easily for free. There's a lot of them, a lot of resources today on the web. Okay, so right here, we're gonna go ahead and name this. As you can see, this is how it shows up on an ad. You see that? That's exactly how it shows up on the image. On dynamic ads, you are not gonna be putting your own videos and your own images. It's basically what's being pulled in from the product feed. Somebody goes to your website and looks at this product, Concipen, then they go back to Facebook and the product is following them around. You can offer them a 10% discount, you can invite them back into the shop, you can just have a, a great marketing message above the actual image, but you're not gonna be changing the images for dynamic ads. So let's just give it a quick name. And let's give it a quick description. There we go. And you can see how it's forming over here, right? Optional SKU. Okay, I'm gonna go to the website. Let me check the SKU that we have on this particular product. And once I open this up, let me see. Over here, there's a product code. Okay, I'm gonna grab this product code. That's ba that basically identifies the actual product with what I'm trying to communicate to Facebook that that is a product in there. So I'm gonna go back in here and enter it over here. It did say that it was optional, so you don't have to do that necessarily, but ideally it just gives them a little bit more data. Website link, let me grab this particular link right here. And what is the offer? How much is the cost? 
There we go. So this is the product right here, okay? I just added a product manually. Once I select add product, the product has been added now manually, okay? Now, the difference with that also, when you add it manually, it's a little bit more complicated because now you have to make sure that you don't run out of stock and that Facebook keeps on selling, right? So if you run out of stock, you're gonna have to update that and make sure that Facebook doesn't think that you have inventory when you do not have inventory. So over here, you can keep on adding products manually and now you have that particular um, that particular catalog, which is called Test FB Masters. It's gonna have those products and you can use that in your targeting, meaning that you can do dynamic ads that are going to be providing these uh, products. It's gonna be offering these products to people that are visiting your website, added the item to carts, purchase the item, haven't purchased in 90 days, haven't purchased in 180 days, purchased in the last 30 days, but they didn't purchase before. You can downsell, cross-sell, upsell. You can actually get broad matching, meaning people that are more likely to buy your products because they are similar to the ones that are purchasing your product. All of that can be done and it opens up that world of dynamic ads on Facebook, which let me tell you something. I'm gonna say that less than 5% of advertisers today are doing this correctly. Almost nobody understands how to really utilize the power of dynamic ads today. So that puts you in the uh, driving wheel so you can actually take advantage of this incredible era of opportunity. Okay, so now let's say that uh, we add products manually, but let's say that we wanna also add them that data source, you guys know how to add them manually now, right? So now let's say that we want to do like uh, a data feed. Well, look at the options over here. This is very important because I want you guys to get educated. This entire course is about getting you guys to understand fully how these platforms work and their true potential. So I want you guys to know that there's a lot of knowledge that Facebook gives us to understand what these tools are. For example, when I selected this and I go to product data source and I go to add data source and I go to um, use data feeds, over here, it's gonna give me a lot of information if I wanna understand how to set it up on Shopify, on WooCommerce, on BigCommerce, or on Magento. It's super simple. Uh, for example, let's say that um, I want to set it up on Shopify. Okay, so it, once I select Shopify, over here, it's gonna open up this window on the right side that gives you a step-by-step -step on how to get it set up. It's super simple because for example, on Shopify, if you have a Shopify e-commerce, you can set this up with a couple of clicks. There is a tool, which is a plugin, which is called Flexify, which I'm gonna put the link down below for you guys to be able to use, that uh, that tool, as simple as clicking it, it's a free tool, you click on it, it's gonna open your website, uh, your, your store URL, you're gonna go to login, and once you go to login, it's gonna open up your Shopify channel. So now we have the Shopify channel, and it says over here, you're about to install Facebook product feed by Flexify. How long did that take us? That took us about 10 seconds, okay? It says over here, Facebook product feed by Flexify will be able to view Shopify account data and then view products. This is really powerful. You know how I told you that on the manual, uh, when you actually do a manual catalog, you're gonna have to be updating the inventory quantity consistently? It's really important because if you set it up this way with Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Magento, et cetera, then it updates. If you run out of stock, Facebook doesn't promote it anymore. So you can be evergreen, dynamically updating, uh, promoting all the time your products, and if you run out of inventory, the campaigns stop. That product doesn't get promoted anymore because there's no more inventory. So these tools, these plugins that these companies offer you, dynamically update whatever you have on your catalog. If you change your price, if you have a new offer, if you change the image, if you change the about description, if you uh, have a flash sale, whatever it is, Facebook is going to recognize that because this sends data actively. So over here, we're gonna go to install the app and basically just follow the steps, okay? So it's um, just like that. We got this option over here and uh, there we go. Okay, we have just go ahead and, and activate it all set up. It says over here, you have successfully generated your Facebook product feed. You can now add it to your Facebook catalog. Okay, so right here, this is my feed, okay? That's it. And now right here, guys, you don't have to worry about that because now it's going to be pulled automatically to Facebook just through the app, the implementation of that particular tool. So I'm gonna go over here, grab this link right here, copy to clipboard, 
and let's go back here to the uh, product section. Let's say that we do set a schedule. And then over here, you see how it says add a data feed URL? This is the data feed that we just created by right here with the app, your feed URL, okay? This one right here, that's all we need. We're gonna grab this feed right here. We're gonna go back over here. We're gonna enter this link over here. And it says, uh, we don't need this uh, right now. And then schedule your automatic uploads daily. That's good with me. Data feed name, that's good. And then let's start the upload. And it says your data feed is being uploaded. Your products are being added to your catalog. This may take a while. You can close the screen and check back later. We're gonna go done and that's it guys. As simple as that, we were able to create a data feed of products from the Shopify channel and you can always access this data right here on the actual settings of that particular plugin, the Flexify plugin. Really cool, right? Dynamically updating all the time. But now, if you guys are one of those that have uh, Magento or you have, uh, let's say that you have um, BigCommerce or WooCommerce, it's a little bit of a variation of the instructions. Let me show you one of the examples. For example, on this, uh, uh, let me show you WooCommerce. If you go to use data feeds, we go to next, and then we're gonna go to over here where it says WooCommerce. It's gonna open up this window over here and check out this video over here that shows you how simple this is. This is a little bit different of a process because it's, it's gonna be from setting up the pixel to integrating the catalog to getting it all set up along the way very easily in a couple of simple steps. Very, very simple. Also, if you guys are using WooCommerce, this is the way you're gonna set it up. You're gonna download a plugin, you're gonna install it inside WooCommerce, you're gonna just basically install now, and then it uploads the plugin, and then you activate it, and then there's gonna be a couple more steps in here in which it says, now, once you're in there, you're gonna go into complete the setups, and there's gonna be a section on Facebook over here. You select get started. And it's gonna open up this window right here in which you're gonna just choose your Facebook page. Simply select the Facebook page that you're gonna be using. And then you're gonna select your pixel that you're gonna be using. And then you're going to select which, uh, your products that you're gonna be using. And then off we go. Facebook page, products, Pixel, pixel, all connected and ready to go. And now you can run ads and it's gonna be dynamically updated on your Facebook. Very simple. It's a similar process with the actual, uh, with the actual, uh, the other ones, which are the um, BigCommerce or Magento. For example, on BigCommerce, we go to BigCommerce right here. That was WooCommerce. There's also going to be a link on this one that I can show you guys. Very simple. But on, on BigCommerce, this is how you do it, okay? So I'm gonna open up the, uh, very simple how, how this gets done. It says go to BigCommerce dashboard, select the apps, okay? So you go over here, you select apps, and then after you select apps, you're going to now select Facebook Ads Extension. And once you select Facebook Ads Extension, you're gonna go to Get Started easily install a pixel and then it's going to lead into easily installing your Facebook catalog. This is guys, I'm telling you, mind blowing because when I started with this, it was so complicated. You're going to choose your Facebook page, very similar to what we just did with the other one. So like next, and then it's going to automatically connect. If you can see right here, it's going to automatically connect the Facebook page, the pixel, and then your products to Facebook. And now you have all of it working together as a source of information for Facebook that's gonna help you scale your ads like crazy. The Magento is a little bit of a similar process too, slightly different. So for example, on Magento, if you guys are one of the ones that are using Magento, you basically are gonna also have a Facebook ads extension. On Magento, there's an option to add over here. It's, at the, it's gonna be at the top, around the middle of the bars. There's gonna be an option that says like this. You're gonna see it just like this, Facebook ads extension. And that's how you're gonna get started with that. You're gonna click the terms and condition and accept and then click next. And then you're gonna select your Facebook page and it's the same process. The, the Facebook pixel and then your products are gonna go into Facebook. So do you see how simple they made it on the way? Now, just doing that step, then you're gonna be able to have the catalog in here. So once you go to catalog, you're gonna see them in your window. Let me show you where again, if you go to business settings, 
over here, once you go to your catalogs, data sources on the catalogs, your catalog is going to be there and you want to verify if you want that your pixel is connected properly and you're going to see that very easily. For example, if I open up one of my catalogs that we use, we'll see in a second. You touch that catalog and then you select associate sources on the right side and then you have the pixel that you want to make sure it is connected with that particular catalog and then we save it and off we go. Now we are connected. The catalog is connected to the correct pixel. So that's something that you have to make sure that you do once you set it up correctly, but it's as simple as that. So again, you want to set a schedule? Once you select the, set the schedule, then it's as simple as that. But if you want to just start from scratch, okay, and just get your pixel set up with Magento, Shopify, uh, with WooCommerce, with BigCommerce, it's all integrated into one single process. If not, on the Shopify, as you can see, you're going to have to just go through the process that I explained in this lesson, getting the catalog URL, integrating the URL here, saving it, and then you're going to be good to go with this particular um, catalog and you're going to be able to start running ads easily right away. Okay, so again, just to refresh over here, add data source. When you use data feeds on this particular example for Magento, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, and Shopify, all you need is a plugin. If you want to do a manual because you only have one or two products or three products, even then, even though I would even say go and integrate the actual plugin, you can do it manually over here. This one right here, connect the Facebook pixels. Once you do this one right here, you're going to be able to just connect a pixels to a data source. But that one, we're not going to do it in this, in this particular way. It's not the recommended one for you guys. You're going to go straight into the actual use data feeds or go through the entire Magento, WooCommerce, BigCommerce or Shopify process to get your products integrated into the shop and start selling like crazy. Down below, I'm going to put the links for you guys to easily follow the process as described by Facebook with the little videos and images so you can integrate it into your favorite tool that you use as an e-commerce platform. And if you're not doing dynamic ads somehow from the Facebook visitors that you're getting into your website, you're leaving a ton of money on the table because dynamic ads are going to help you get customers consistently back into your shop. And it's one of the greatest advantages of this 2018, 2019 world that we're going into that allows us to continuously establish and build relationships with customers and scale. As you guys are going to become traffic experts on this course, it's going to be important for you guys to get it all get this all integrated correctly because you're going to be generating a lot of traffic and dynamic ads will help you with the pixel get a lot of traffic back into that website converted and scale your business like crazy.